Everton have confirmed that Jack Harrison has rejoined the club on loan from Leeds United for the 24-25 season. Uh, Jack said there are a lot of reasons for wanting to return to Everton Football Club. The fans, the staff, the manager, my teammates, uh, everyone made me feel really comfortable last season. It's a great place to play football. Uh, Harrison, of course, spent last season on loan at the uh, at Everton Football Club. Scored three goals, had three assists as well. This is this is obviously being discussed since before the end of last season. Sean Dykes did mention Everton were trying to get Jack back uh, for the season. Leeds not coming up made that easier because just the what they've got in the uh, the contract that he had signed. And I know there's some you know some Evertonians that aren't going to be made up with this but I, Jack Harrison for me did a good job last season I think he, he'll have a pre-season this time around that he didn't have last season the manager likes him he knows exactly what's expected he can play right side left side I'd like to see him having a few games on the left hand side this season where he is more comfortable as well and it's another bit of business done before pre-season and I think that's really important and um, I think the more we can get in before day one of pre-season the better for the football club moving on from that Everton did confirm the signing of Tim Irabuman over the weekend from Aston Villa obviously we discussed this last week uh, Irabun and said, I'm very pleased. Everton is an amazing club. It's a big club and I'm just really happy to join and I can't wait to get started. Uh, he was speaking to EvertonFC.com on their, on their website. He also, it was confirmed there that for uh, Everton winger Lewis Dobbin had made the, the opposite switch to join Aston Villa. Uh, Lewis Dobbin obviously posted a Instagram and Twitter message thanking Everton and the fans for his time at the club. But just back to it, Boone. Obviously, I've spoke to a few Aston Villa fans about him as well, and they were disappointed to see him go. And I think he's got big potential. But we, we said this last week with going, what's going on with PSR. Clubs are looking at you know players that have come through the academy as a way of getting money in for players who aren't necessarily first choice. And if that helps with the books, that helps with the books. That's the way it is. Everton have watched Irabunum for about four or five months last season. They know what they're getting. And hopefully he can come and settle in and become an Everton first team player. But uh, it's good to see a little bit of business being done. Uh, moving on from that, Everton have again today been strongly linked with Marseille forward, Ilman and Dai. Uh, last season in the league, he scored three times in 30 games which isn't great uh, he was he had a better record at Sheffield United in the championship and was actually linked with Everton before he moved to Marseille I envisage him if this happens him coming in as I'm playing basically in the Abdelai Decore role just off the striker he can play wide as well so he gives Everton a couple of options there he's good on the ball he's a nice footballer tricky with the ball and all that goals as you've just seen there um, massive um, from him certainly last season I think he ended up with four overall in the competition I think it was 44 games four goals last season Sheffield United I think his best of terms 15 goals but he's an attacking player Everton need to create more goals score more goals and hopefully the season at Marseille it was very up and down there hopefully that is a uh, his lowest ever scoring season and he'll come and hit the ground running if he does come in. Talks of a loan move with the uh, the option to make it permanent next summer. If that is the case, then we're all for strengthening um, those attacking options, aren't we? Um, another story today, MSP's loan towards the Everton Stadium Development Limited has been paid off by potential new Everton owners, the Freakin Group. It was confirmed recently that Dan Freakin and Farhad Mashiri had entered a period of exclusivity while they negotiate the takeover of Everton. That is out with companies. So basically, the Freakin Group have taken over the charge MSP uh, had on the club. And that is good news, really, because that is further evidence that they, you know, they're moving forward with this takeover. This was obviously a charge that Triple Seven couldn't pay. It was one of the stipulations that they simply couldn't do. And for the freaking groups who've done it already, while they are in this period of due diligence, lots of uh, reports coming around the deal saying that it'll be done quite quickly. 
there's the evidence is already there of the money and this takeover is expected to be passed as soon as physically possible. So that's good news for Everton Football Club. And finally, Dominic Calvert-Lewin's proposed move to Newcastle, which would have seen winger Jan Kuba Minter move to Everton, is now apparently off. Uh, and the mo- Minter's move to Everton is also reportedly off as well. Leon are interested in the winger who spent last season on loan of Feyenoord. Liverpool do have an interest in him as well. Uh, there was reports today saying that Minter had uh, told Newcastle that he wanted to join Everton. And it looked as though it was progressing nicely, but quite clearly, um, there's a there's a breakdown over the, the package. I think for Dominic Calvert Lewin, and it's back to it's back to the drawing board for now. I personally wouldn't rule this out at the moment. I think there's a bit of posturing going on between Dom, between the Everton, and between Newcastle. It feels like Calvert Lewin's made his mind up to leave. Newcastle have tried to get Calvert Lewin in the last three transfer windows. We'll see whether there is any more talks, um, you know, later on in the week. But right now, it seems as though those moves are off. Uh, Everton continue to be linked with uh, Albanian striker Armando Breuer. Those talks with Chelsea are apparently continuing. That is according to reports today. Uh, the 22-year-old is thought to be open to a move to Goodison Park, so we'll wait and see how that progresses as well. That is it for the news. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later.